All right, Ken, folks. So one of the more sloppy wins I've seen in a while, but the biggest part is the part that says win. Yes, put As one a in the win column. That is the most important thing. We knew we were going to have some sloppy wins this year. I thought it was going to be high-scoring sloppy games, like defensively, but defense came to play, and that was huge. It seemed like no matter the position we put them in, the issues we caused, by the end of the game, I wasn't worried at all about the defense, to be honest. Eugene Asante played like a man possessed. Eugene Asante was the key to the win. 12 tackles, two for loss, and a sack. I mean, it was just absolutely massive. Uh, he played really well. I thought the young guys we threw in there played pr pretty well. Yeah, Caleb Wooten got in. Kay and Lee. He gave up a few plays, but overall, I mean, yeah, that had one the, penalty. Had the ticky tack penalty there to yeah. end. You can't, you know, you can't do that. But I mean, he's young and he's a stud. He is. Marcus Harris just was kicking ass. It just yeah. seemed like the run defense was not an issue whatsoever. Um, Jarquez got in there, and every time it seemed like he touched the ball, he was just surrounded until the second half. Yeah. Broke off a couple, made his yards per carry look better, but Jesus Christ, that man couldn't find anything. And who would have thought bringing Hugh Freeze and Philip Montgomery in that our running game would be the key focal point, man. Yeah. I mean, we threw for like 94 yards, I think it was, or Peyton threw for 94. Peyton Thorne looked awful for about 58 minutes of this game. Yeah. But he it, made some key throws at the end. And it just seemed like when well, the game was... He made a key throw at the end because Fair, Fairweather bailed him out on the one. Yeah, I mean, it, was, it wasn't it was a very well-placed throw, but, man, it didn't matter. It yeah. didn't matter. Fairweather really got in there, and he really made two huge plays. One was on, like, a third and 15 or something. Yeah. The other one was on second or third and goal, just a fade route, and it was just a pretty throw. It was. So Peyton's really got to pick some things up. Early in the game, he was making things happen with his legs, and then it, everything just went horrible. He wasn't trusting his receivers, like we said at halftime. I, I didn't even go wasn't check to see if that video uploaded. Yeah, he wasn't trusting the O-line, but, man, the O-line came to play later on in the game, and, I mean, it was just – it was so good to see the guys get so hyped when yeah. – Damari got that first down. I mean, the fumbles were an issue. But, man, the linebacking core looked decent outside of Eugene Asante, of course. Eugene Asante was a stud today. Yeah. But we knew that Secondary coming out of fall camp, good. he was going to do that. Secondary played really well. Um, like I like the way they sealed it with the end. The, pick. Yeah, the INT at the end. Yeah, I mean, it was just like I wasn't worried at all when they got that third and whatever, fourth and whatever. And he got that pick. It was. It just seemed like no matter what happened, no matter who got hurt, no matter what, no matter what guys was out there, they were going to make plays. And we wreaked havoc. Those blitzes were getting there. Sam Jackson, we kept him in check. Yeah. And even when they were gassed, it, they were just still making plays. And yeah. um, obviously we got bailed out a few times by their field goal kicker. Feel bad for that kid to be honest. I do too. I mean, I'm, it, I'm glad he's not a kicker for Alabama. Maybe he won't get no death threats tonight. You never know. You never know. I, I just seemed like I knew going into this game it was going to be a dog fight, but I thought it was going to be a high scoring one. Yeah. And my prediction was 49 45. I was off by a lot. Yeah. Like a lot. Yeah, there was only 24 points scored in the whole game. I'm sorry if camera's shaking, by the way, or the audio's bad. I'm still tweaking right now. Yeah. <laughs> It was just such a, such a stressful, emotional, just emotional weird, game. It was a weird game, but I mean, like, this is our first win in California in a long time. Ever. Ever. That's right. Ever. Ever. Our first win in California ever. I mean, Jarquez looked good. And it's just like, Robbie, Robbie is electric, but Jesus Christ, he'll, he'll make some plays that'll make you scratch your head. Like he bounced to play outside that he didn't need to. Yeah. Uh, he threw a ball he didn't need to across his body. And you know he's going to force some things. He's going to try to make plays because that's just the kid that he is. Man, I don't like the quarterback carousel. I don't either, but you got to roll with what you got this year. Yeah. Um, and this puts us one win closer to a bowl game. Yeah. I like the way Peyton responded. Yeah. I'm, I'm just trying to hit everything in my head. The game just ended. So I'm just trying to go through, what is it, a Rolodex? Got yeah. a Rolodex in my head of just things I want to hit here. Um, Got to clean up some penalties. Donovan Kaufman, I hope he's good to go next week. That is huge. That is a guy that we're definitely going to need. Him, Keontae, 
Uh, we saw Caleb Wooden get some reps late in the game. I thought he looked, I thought he pr played pretty well. I thought he did too. Uh, he he came on a blitz late in the game and he just stopped his feet when he got into the blocker. He just kind of gave up. But you know, not everybody can be Donovan Kaufman. Yeah, I mean, if if you come out of this game uncertain about any position, you can be certain of one, and that's Eugene Asante. Yep. Uh, he is his own position, for sure. I mean, when he came out of the game, you know, Cam Riley and Wesley Steiner, although they played okay, you could just tell that the energy just wasn't the yeah. same. Um, but Eugene Asante is the heart and soul of this defense. And I Maybe mean, the heart and soul of the team. Yeah, what a soul. Not, not a soul. What a story that kid is. I mean, he didn't play really at all last year. Right. He didn't play much in his last year at North Carolina, and he just brings so much energy you know, I mean, we, we saw it in fall camp in those videos, you know, the let's work thing. I love right. that. And you know when number nine's on the field, you're in good hands, sure tackling you, you hands. Know, you know he's putting in that work. Oh, for sure. It. I mean, like, it's not just like he just has energy. It's, the mentals are there as well. Yeah. You know, he reads things really well, and he's sideline to sideline. He's got the speed. And, like, he is the biggest story coming out of this game on the positive end. On the negative end, you threw for, like, less than 100 yards. Yeah. That's the, the passing game's got to get better. Thorne's got to start trusting his offensive line. He's got to start trusting his receivers. Yeah. Make the read, get the ball out. You know I mean? Once got, the ball leaves your hand, your job is done. It's up to the receiver. You got to be confident. He, and he did a better job of just letting it rip uh, on that last drive. Yeah. So, you know, that's definitely something that's got to get better for sure. Um, but, you know... Like you said, uh, when we started doing these videos and the season started, you know, we woke up looking for a W, and the next day we have one because yeah. it is late as hell right now. It is very late game. <laughs> very late game. It's so I'm weird. I'm so glad we don't have any more West Coast games. Yeah, we are exhausted. But uh, Ken, folk, you know, now it's Sanford week. We gotta yeah. put this win behind us. Take that win. Just take it completely out of the question because there were so many ways we could have lost this game. Fix it, get to Samford, take care of Samford on our road to A&M. Yeah. On the road to A&M, then we got, you know, it's going to be a freaking murder row. Yep. Because we, even after A&M, who's going to be a tough matchup, it is, it, correct me if I'm wrong for the list Georgia, LSU, Ole Miss. Yeah. Who's after that, Mississippi State? Something like that. I'm not sure who's after that, but it's going right to be a tough now, road. We can't play like we did today and expect to win any of those games. Right now it's Sunday, and we're looking to become 1-0 and next Saturday, or this yep. upcoming Saturday. You're 0-0 going into every week. You got to remember that. Enjoy this win tonight. Get back to work later. Yeah. Enjoy your flight, boys, because I am about to go to bed. Four down. Four down.